So I spent the last two years mastering how to use Anki for medical school. I basically spend multiple hours a day studying with it and it's served me extremely well through my medical career. So stay here and I'll show you how to master Anki in less than 10 minutes. All right, let's go ahead and get started. All right, for those of you that are new here, my name is Julio Ambris. I'm a second year medical student who is constantly looking for ways to make medical school easier. So a lot of my upper term friends told me that I should be using Anki when I started medical school. The issue was there's so many videos out there, so many resources telling me how to use it, I got overwhelmed. I didn't know what to do and how to start. So I wanted to make this quick video for you guys so you can start within just 10 minutes and get going. So let's teach you first how to download it. First things first, go to Google. And once you open up Google, I'm gonna have you search literally just for Anki. So this is the process of downloading. You click on the first thing that pops up, Anki, click on download. Then you click on whatever download system is for your computer. Once you click that, then I'll have you go ahead and then just open up the app. So you go down, click on Anki, have it open up. So I'm gonna quickly show you the preferences that I found to be the best and the most helpful for me over the last two years of using Anki but I'm not gonna really explain them in this video. So if you have any questions about it, go ahead and comment below and I'll answer them as they come or I'll just make a video on it, whichever happens first. So let's go ahead and start with the preferences first. I would have you go ahead and click on Anki, go to preferences, and the first thing I want you to do is change this to night mode. So you'll see here when I close it, everything you do in Anki, you have to restart it for it to actually take an effect. And so we'll go ahead and start this up first. So we'll close this out and we will open Anki back up again. Perfect, see now it looks like this. So we'll go back again to Anki, go back to the preferences, and then let's make sure these are all set up the way I like it. So this whole page, everything else is just basically left the same, nothing changes. Scheduling is the most important one on this. You have to click on the V3 scheduler beta. And then I do typically change this to show new cards after reviews, so it's already on that. And then I put this one starting my new day at 4 a.m. because I'm usually asleep by then. The learn ahead limit, I usually put this one at zero. And then I move on to network. That's everything we do on scheduling. Network, we leave it alone. Just make sure that on the next sync, force changes in one direction is left unchecked. Then you move over to backups, backups, anything above 10, you're good to go. So we can go ahead and close that out. Next thing I wanna do is go over the settings for your decks. So you'll see here that we'll click on the little toolbar thing here and click on options. So the options will pop up. So you'll see here that this is the new look. Um, the old version is uh, different and I made a video on the old version, but um, now that we have a new version, I wanted to get you guys updated and uh, ready for this one. So let's go ahead and quickly change these. I like to change my daily limits for the new cards always to nine, 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 nine. And then the same thing for my maximum reviews for that day, nine, 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 nine. And then I go down to the new cards. This one I actually put in 20 space 1,440 space 4,320. You click outside the box and it converts it. 20 minutes, one day, uh, one day and three days. My graduating interval, I typically leave this one at six. Um, the ease interval, I always put this one at eight. And then I always change an insertion order to random just because I like to mix it up when I'm studying. The lapses, um, I do change the lapses around as well. Typically I move this one to 30 space 1440 and then click out, which is 30 minutes in one day. The minimum interval, I typically put this one as three and then I leave the leech threshold at eight and I wanna make sure the leech action is always on tag only. Um, other than that, the only other thing I change in here is the timer. I make this 180 seconds, because if I'm taking that long on a question, I'm really not paying attention, so it's not really worth it to have a go. This one, you can go ahead and uh, click on the Barry uh, siblings to the next day. I typically don't, it just depends on uh, what I'm reviewing. Now, one of the biggest changes for the new uh, version of Anki is that you have to click save. If you do not click save, it will revert all of this back to the original settings that it had previously. So we'll go ahead and change that. We'll click on save. Perfect. All right, now that we've done that, all we need to do now is get the deck that we need for medical school. So let's go ahead and find that pre-made deck, open up Google one more time. And this time we're gonna go ahead and put in the search bar, medical school Anki. 
and then it'll be the first thing that pops up. It's a Reddit post, click on that. And then on this Reddit post, I want you to only focus on the right side and scroll down until you see this, step one on key, the step one and step two version 10. So I'll have you click on that link. Once you click on that, it'll open up another section here. Here in this section, this is basically telling you everything about On King. It tells you about all the different decks, the history of it, how it was made. I would really suggest that you take the time to go over this. The person that made this, On King, he's in medical school as well. He took his precious time to help us all, and so props to him for doing that. For this video though, we're gonna go ahead and go straight down to what we need and get this done real quick. So we'll scroll down until you see this comment by Smoke Weed Please. That's his name. You'll see the title say On King Step 1, Step 2, Version 10, Dex with Media. So I usually like to click on the Google Drive version. So you just click on that. It'll take you to this page here. Mine takes a while to load. But once you have it here, all you need to do is click download and then it should pop up. If that one for some reason doesn't work, you can always go back to this one and click on this one as well. It's a different website that helps you download it. Um, I've seen several times when people click this, it shows that it's too busy, there's too many people doing it, and so it doesn't let you do it. So that's why there are two available ways to do it. All right, now that you've downloaded it, all you need to do to really get it in here is to actually just, it'll be here, you just double click it, and it'll sit there and say processing. All right, I'm gonna let this thing go ahead and finish processing. So be honest, this deck has everything you need for medical school. It has everything for step one, everything for step two. So basically the only thing you're gonna do to this deck is just make things for like your missed questions and things from your lecture notes. Things that you feel like are not in there or you couldn't find that are more tailored to you specifically. All right, let's go ahead and finish this up. All right, and then once it's finished, you'll see here that it says notes found in file 34,581 and they'll say the same thing, notes added from file 34,581 and you can just click close. What it typically does is it changes the name and then if you click this, it shows them all here, all the different cards. Now, we wanna see what we have, so we click on browse. And when you do that, let me make that bigger. When you click on browse, it'll look like this. So we'll just close up all these files so they don't look too crazy. And the main thing I want you to look at is down here. It says step one version 10, step two version 10. So these are the step two decks and the step one deck. It's gonna have everything you need for medical school in here. Now, since you're a new medical student, what I want you to do first, click on On King because it selects all the cards inside of that deck. Select one of these cards, and then I want you to push Command A. And what that does is it selects every card in the deck. You're a brand new student, you haven't learned anything yet. So there's no point for having all of these cards ready and available for you to study. So now you push Command J. When you push Command J, what it does is it suspends the cards makes them turn yellow like this, um, which basically means they're disabled. Now the point of Anki is, especially with this Anki deck, is that you will go through and you will enable the cards as you learn them. And I can show you that here in a minute. So you usually have to add some add-ons onto the system. So I'm gonna show you what those add-ons are really quick, just to make it fast and easy for us. So you exit out of this, I want you to go to tools, and then I want you to go down to add-ons. And here, I have them all here that I like, and they're all disabled. The main ones I really think you should get are the following here, but let me first show you how to get them. You would click on Get Add-on, and then you click Browse Add-ons. So for instance, if we were looking for Special Fields, which is one of the ones I would like you to find, um, you go down to Special Fields, click on it, and then you scroll down until you see this number. This number here, you highlight it, you copy it, and then you go back and that's what you input right here as the code. And you push OK. And then when you do that, it would pop up here and typically it would look uh, like this. Now, remember, any changes you make in Anki, it says right here, changes will take effect when Anki is restarted. So let's go ahead and make sure you understand which um, tags we need or that so you can get started right away. So we want special fields. We want hierarchical tags too. We want image occlusion. And then we want review heat map. Now the weird thing about review heat map is they no longer have the code inside of the add-on page, or at least a code that works. So I'm gonna put in the link uh, below in the description that actually leads you directly to this and it'll install it for you. Uh, so you don't have to actually have to put in the number in this spot here for it, all right? So I'll go ahead and highlight these guys and toggle enable. 
And what do we need to do? We need to go ahead and exit out, close out of Anki completely, close this out, and then go back to Anki, open it up. We'll see here now that everything here that we need is set and ready to go. It still looks pretty, um, but also when you start adding cards, it's gonna work the way you want it to. Now that we've gone ahead and put all the add-ons in, let's go ahead and create the decks that are important for you to create. I'll have you go down here and create a deck, and I'll have you make one for missed questions. And then I'll have you make another one for lecture notes. So it's very simple to create a card. All you do is click into the deck you made, click add, and then with this, let me make it bigger. With this, you'll see here the note type. It always shows this one first for some reason. So click on this and always, always, always have it on closed Anki Master version three. That's gonna be the best one because it has all of these fields in it, which is necessary for the updates. Now, again, just to show you an example how to make a card, put one plus one, that equals what? Two. Good job, class. All right, so if we wanted to make this an actual card, what we do is we'd highlight the one, click on this little icon here. This makes a closed deletion. You click on it, makes that closed deletion. You can highlight the two, come back over here again, hover over it, and click. Again, now you have two closed deletions, meaning you push add, and what you just did, look at this, is you just made two brand new cards. Now when you click study now, you'll see it here, one plus blank equals two. Ooh, is it two? No, it's one. Yep, there it is. And you come down here and you put good, and then you move back up again. One plus one equals what? That's right, two. And you push good. So the next thing I want you to do is I want you to grab your new decks that you made, grab them, and then drop them inside of the On King. Just like that. Now all of your cards will show up here that are due, which is really nice. So that is everything quick and dirty on how to actually set it up. Now that you've set it up, let's go ahead and quickly go over how to actually use it. So for instance, you'll go into browse and you'll open up step one. Now the beauty of Anki and Anking for making this version 10 is they have all the resources you need in medical school basically, all in here. With that, they have the pictures, the, you know, all the images and things like that from it. The caveat to this is you should have the subscription to all of these. And just so you know, just wanna make sure you're aware of that. Uh, okay, so if we were studying, uh, let's say we were going in first aid, right? And we were wanting to learn about DNA methylation. We go into first aid, find DNA methylation, and bam, here are all the cards related to DNA methylation. And we're like, okay, we go through them. Okay, I understand these ones. So what are we gonna do? Push Command A, it selects them all, and then push Command J. Now they're unsuspended or they're enabled. And that's basically how you use this. It's really nice. Um, the only other thing that you do besides unsuspending cards is making your own, and those are for the ones, your missed questions, or for things that are in lecture very specific to your school or from your lecture that you cannot find in the deck. And that is how you get Anki set up in just under 10 minutes. You should be good to go from there. Hopefully this has saved you guys a lot of time. If you like this video, go ahead and click on the subscribe button or the like button down below. That way I can keep on getting these videos out to you guys. Thanks for watching. I really appreciate the support. And remember guys, you'll never know what you'll learn when you think medical. See you next time.